The ultimate goal of Interface is to become a restorative company. Uh, since 1994 we are striving towards uh, a way of entrepreneurship where we actually can contribute in a positive, restorative way to both society and nature. And we have started a mission, which we call Mission Zero, to not only work on all the positive things we can do, but also elimin eliminate all the negative things we can do. What are typical barriers that you encounter? I only see opportunities, I would <laughs> say. Nature is so inspirational and actually working on sustainability with that pair of glasses mm -hmm. on, it makes you uh, aware of uh, the richdom and the wisdom of this 3.8 billion years of uh, R&D, yes. the possibilities uh, that have arise by applying those principles, by indeed working on deep materialization, creating for example carpet tiles, since we are the inventor of the carpet tile, uh, with 50% less materials, which are quality-wise just as good, but reducing the environmental impact to 35%, or focusing on the use of recycled materials, um, creating carpet tiles with 100% recycled nylon, partly made of reclaimed carpet yarn, but even fish, fish nets, mm -hmm. uh, with uh, up to 70% recycled chalk in the backing, which is the back part of a carpet tile. So, if you combine those two technologies together, you already have a carpet tile, a floor covering with a 70% smaller impact than we, when we started back in the 90s with our uh, vision yeah. and mission. But also other types of materials. We have been looking for bio-based alternatives as well. And, and we worked with corn, with nettle, and everything we worked on had some uh, quality uh, lack of quality actually, uh, or was not sustainable because you had to add so many fly flame retardants, which is also not so uh, sustainable as well. And now we are working for example with yarn which is made of the castor bean, and it grows in India where agriculture doesn't have a chance because it's in areas where it's too hot to grow uh, some crops. But because of this plant actually you prevent erosion mm -hmm. and the farmers can harvest this bean and from this bean you can make oil, and from that oil you can make yarn, uh, can harvest uh, the bean two times a season. So it also gives them an additional income. So this is, I think, another aspect of Interface, not only working on, let's say, the circular dimension of circular economy, but also on the inclusive, the more social dimension yeah. of uh, circular economy. And this is what we're, we are stri uh, striving for in our aim to become really a restorative company. Yeah. Is there maybe a new future vision where you don't need any input from uh, raw materials? Well, we actually aim there to be there by 2020 and it's going to be tough. So if there is a student out there who has an idea to help us with finding the other 50% we are lacking at this point in time, because average at this point in time 50% of all the materials we buy are already recycled and bio-based, uh, but we need another 50%. Mm -hmm.